look, I, I just want to have, I, I want my party to be always connected to people and communities um, and what really is, like, like, and I think that, I think the last presidential election, I'm not blaming this on Secretary Clinton, who I think, if you, if I, as I travel with her if you, from Iowa to, you know, uh, to New Jersey, right. um, I think she did, but I think our party was perceived to us to have lost its connection to the struggles of everyday Americans. And so I just think that we need to make sure, as I, I came up as a politician that was out knocking on doors and talking to my community, in my community, um, and I think that I just want our party to never lose that, communicating to folks what we stand for, why we stand with you, why we're the better choice in many, 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 uh, in, 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 in elections. Why are you the better choice this season? <laughs> and we're talking about that against the backdrop of you campaigning for congressional candidates, key battleground districts. What is the overriding argument that you are making to those voters on their behalf? I, I mean, I just came from a, from Mikey Sherrill doing a, and to me, I just said, this is stark. If you're a New Jerseyan, here you have one candidate support Donald Trump's tax plan, which is a direct attack on New Jersey's ability to deduct their state and local taxes. This is why most Republicans in our caucus voted against it, because they said this, is, this isn't this is Republican or Democrat. This is Jersey loyalty and to Jerseyans who are paying too many taxes. That's why the person that, who, the Republican that held that district, Freeland Eisen, voted against it. Now you have the guy running who's Trump, 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 I would support Trump's tax bill. I'm sorry, that's a betrayal of New Jersey's fiscal, every New Jersey taxpayer's bottom line. And, and Mikey Sherrill's like, no way, I'm sorry. And so my, my, my strong feelings are that we have got to offer that choice always. Like, where do you stand? Are you supporting uh, that insurance companies can't discriminate on you because you have a pre-existing condition? Or are you supporting Donald Trump's attempt to kill the Affordable Care Act and, and all that's in it? Mm -hmm. so, so this is like stark choices in this midterm election. I've never seen such stark choices for somebody from New Jersey that, that are you going to support the kind of things that Trump has done that are undermining this state? You know this from the infrastructure. We were moving on getting new rail lines underneath the Hudson. You know, and, and again, Freeland Eisen again. Freeland Eisen was fighting with us, fighting for these. New Jerseyans were supporting us. Now you have a president.